I was, uh, I was 16, you know, and I, I got involved with a gal whose boyfriend wasn't very happy with me about that. So I got on the Greyhound and headed south um, and went back to school. And, uh, but at the same time, uh, hounding the, one of the local stations, I tuned in CJOR, as it was called then, and I could hear that they really weren't very good at the time. And so I, uh, I would just go down there and sit in the lobby every day and with my tape. And they said, look, we have nothing. I said, I think you do. No, we have nothing. But I knew that the afternoon guy, rest in peace, was, was drunk. I mean, you could, you could hear it. And uh, so I, I just stayed there and stayed with it. And uh, finally, they said, all right, bring the tape in. So I played it for Vic Waters, one of the legends of Canadian broadcasting. Great guy. And uh, he said, oh, you know what, that's not bad. And so he hired me, and I started off in Vancouver. 17 now. I had to have a contest saying, how old are you? How, how old am I? Because uh, I wanted to be a, sort of a kid's jock, you know, once I, they allowed me to play my own music. And, uh, and, but I sounded older. So, so by having this contest, the, the winner guessed correctly, 17. And then kids sort of started to tune in because I was playing the Beatles and Motown and things that CFUN, the big station, weren't playing. And uh, they put out a picture of me and they went into the lockers and stuff. And, at that point, I got the attention of Seafun and Red Robinson and some of these guys. Maybe we should talk to this kid. So that's how I wound up at Seafun, where you and I worked together. 